Well, hey there, gang. How's it going? I hope everybody's doing really good. Well, we're in the shop here, just looking over the uh, prospects on the bench. That orange guitar is ready to go. That can come off the bench, actually. And we got the Hannah Montana guitar, which I'm going to mod and give away to uh, a young kid for Christmas. So let's tackle that for us. Let's take it apart. I'm going to paint it and uh, redo the whole guitar. So first move is tear it apart. Okay. Well, how's everybody doing? Hope everyone's had a good day. It's nighttime right where I am right now uh, in Maine, and uh, it's been pretty, pretty nice here today. A little chilly, but it's par for the course this time of year. Uh, I'm moving pretty slow. My hands are sore. I actually put 144 studs in my brother-in-law's snowmobile track today by hand. You can see some of my old injuries popping up, these big lumps and bruises, and my hands are pretty swollen and hurting, so bear with me. I got a stool out tonight to sit on. I usually do all this stuff standing up, uh, and I got a little small power drill just uh, to make it easier, right? I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm not getting any younger, and my hands are... I'm really nervous about my hands not working here eventually. It happens as you get old, get older. I just don't want to lose my ability to play guitar eventually. I'm lucky I can still do it as it is, but... Okay. Well, a lot of screws in the pit guard, I must say. They didn't want it to fall off, right? Yeah, we're going to take the whole guitar apart. Put it back together right paint it, do something cool with it, boy that pit guard is stuck on there, here we go, I think you got to take the neck off to get it off anyway, so let's, let's flip it over, we'll get the neck off, as you can see she scratched up pretty bad in the back, so That's why I'm going to paint it. I wasn't going to at first, but I mean, why not? Unless one of you guys got a, you know, like a Les Paul burst, you want to swap me even. Let me know and I'll and I won't paint it, you know. It's up to you. Leave it in the comments. I'd like to have a sixty. I like the nineteen sixty feel. Never played a real one, but maybe someday somebody will let me tickle a couple chords on one, that'd be cool. All right, here we go. Boy, the neck stuck in there pretty good. Little offset uh, thing, so yeah, it's kind of neat. Them are all raised up, so you know that could be cleaned up. There's one improvement already that can be made. Okay, now we're into the good stuff. Got a little single coil here, and. That's funny, they did all the paint, you know, they actually printed, they must have screen printed this on there, I don't know how they do it, maybe with a computer, but it actually had all this uh, design work 
underneath the guard. Hmm. They could have saved themselves a little pain, I guess. Okay, let's get the bridge loosened up here. I forgot that I had this little screw gun. This works pretty good. Those are just pick up screws. Okay, I think we got one more right here. The old girl didn't like that one. Okay, there's the bridge. That's loose. Okay. Look at that telly style pickup. Ain't that cool? Big brass plate on the bottom. Made by Washburn. They put some pretty good stuff in it, I must say. Okay, so we got to loosen up the control cavity here. Get that taken apart. Well, we'll see what happens. It'll be cool when I get done with it, guaranteed. Uh... It may even look like a new guitar, which would be cool if I could pull that off. Okay, here's the controls. Geez, it's got a nice switch in it. If you guys can check that out or not. The pots feel really good. And check this out, guys. Look at these, uh, look at these round top knobs. Man, I love those knobs. I'm going to have to get some of those for my tellies. It's just kind of a cool... A cool vibe, I guess. They feel good in your hand, though, too. I like the, I just like the way they feel on the top. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be a great thing. I'd have to try them. Okay, so it's the basic tele wiring, from what I can see. Uh, pretty easy. And uh, we'll hook to the jack. That goes to the pickup. I'm guessing. Sure does. And uh, probably what we'll do is just take a, a little visual of this. And I'll probably unhook these wires so I can work on this guitar. So for my own reference, I'm going to zoom in on these wires right now. Just, just because and I can always reference them, you know. Okay, that goes to the the one on the right will go to the to the neck pickup and I'm guessing this one in the back over here will go to the bridge pickup. Okay, easy enough. All right, guys, I'm going to zoom back out here. So, I think we will do that. I'll I'll probably unhook those wires. And, uh, you know, that way I can disassemble the guitar completely and uh, work on it without that stuff hanging in there. Okay, let's take the uh, jack plate out. Doesn't really want to come out very well, but... It's, it's not going to have much choice in a minute. Those were stripped right from the factory. Honestly, they just... They don't feel like they're hooked to anything really solid there. I'm trying by hand, but... I think I'm going to have to get in behind it and pry to get it out. Like that. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver and pry that to get it out because it doesn't want to move, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to do the old screwdriver trick in behind and walk it out as we go. Keep a little pressure on it so the screws will come out. 
Okay, I think we're home. No, we're not. All right, so. Got one more right here that's holding on for dear life. And I'm not really sure about that one either. Okay. We're gaining, folks. Hmm. Boy, that one does not want to let go. That one had some deep roots. Okay, so there we go. We got that out of there. Now we got the jack loose. Okay. Jeez, a nice looking jack. I gotta say, that, I mean, this is pretty good quality for what this is, folks. It really is. All right. I'm gonna take the strap buttons off next. I need to go to. I'm glad my little drill was charged up. I usually do a lot of this by hand, but... Basically just to keep strength in my hands and keep my hands moving, but... Uh, not tonight. I just had too much fun with the snowmobile studs. Okay, there's no control plate in the back or anything, so everything's right here. And uh, pretty cut and dry. Um, yeah, I'm going to desolder this next. Okay, the soldering gun's pretty much heated up to where we need to be. Okay, there's that one. This wire isn't even really soldered in anyways. I mean, it worked, but it wasn't held on there by much. Okay, that takes care of the jack. Now let's unhook. Um, I'm going to unhook this pickup right here, which they have bridged across. So I'll take the ground off first. There's that. And uh, give you guys a little better view of what I'm doing here. Okay, so. You can see they got two wires bridged across these two terminals. So what we're gonna do is just heat across both of them at the same time, there we go. Now, we got a ground wire on this side. So we need to get this unhooked, okay. And then we got a wire right here. And the same thing, they got it bridged across two terminals here, so we're just going to heat both terminals up, and that should pull right out. Uh, okay, i got to get it off that one. Okay, we're good. All right, I'll wipe my gun. I usually try to roll my solder iron on this wet sponge a little bit. That keeps your tip nice and shiny, see? Okay, so we're all unhooked here. We got the control plate out. Uh, the bridge can come out. And the pit guard. And there you have it, folks. She's disassembled. I shut my solder nine down. Okay. Well. There's a few things here we got to address. Um, got some pretty good chunks right here I got to fill in. Uh, I'm going to probably use some like glazing putty or something. They're pretty deep. I could do it with, with glue too, but they go down over the corner. So it would be easier with probably like, you know, spot putty for, that you would use for auto body. And I can sand it out and uh, you'll never see it at the end of the day and we're gonna sand this top a little bit scuff it up for primer and uh, we're gonna paint it we got to fix some of this mess on the back we've got a bunch of scratches I'm gonna try to clean some of that up too so when we paint it it'll be uh, in good shape and then this young kid can put his own scratches in there, right? Okay, so that's it. We've got our disassembled. I think I burnt my wrist. 
I don't know how, but... Oh, no, that was from the snowmobile thing. Sorry. Anyway, uh, you know what? This is... I've, I don't know how many times I've done this. Okay. The plastic's still on the pit guard. I just peeled plastic off a pit guard on a guitar that I've had for a year and I didn't even realize it. There it is. So that'll be nice when we get it painted. When we peel that off, you'll have a brand new pit guard with no scratches on it. This is what the pickup looks like. Uh, it's got the big bar magnet on the bottom. And what that is, is this, it's, you know, there's steel poles in here. That would look like this inside. You're gonna have poles like, like your bridge pickup. Of course, you got the lipstick cover, but the uh, poles aren't magnetized. They just put a magnet across a bunch of steel poles to magnetize them. Okay, and that works good. But then when you get into, you know, they use Al Nico magnets now, which are already magnetized. So you don't have a strip across the bottom or anything like that. This pickup does have a strip, though. Uh, let's see if I can get it in there. Yeah, you see that? Um, this thing right here. That's a magnet. See, I just stuck my screwdriver to it. So that's what they're doing there. Same thing. It's just a bar magnet underneath some steel poles. So that's the difference between, you know, El Nico pickups and, you know, ceramic bar magnet pickups, that kind of thing. Uh, the El Nicos are definitely a better pickup, but, you know, these work. They do. Okay, guys. So. The next move is to clean this thing up, like I said, and uh, we'll get the neck straightened up. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's in pretty good shape. The frets are okay. I'm going to clean them up a little better. Uh, you know, fret rock them if I have to level them so nothing buzzes. Everything will be, you know, be able to hear every note. Uh, so that it's it's short, which is cool. It'll be less less work <laughs> The way I look at it Okay, guys, I'm gonna put these parts in a bag and get everything cleaned up and uh, I Think tomorrow morning. I'll start on this get up have a coffee maybe sand it and uh, then fix some of the holes and damage and uh should be looking good. I think I can probably get it painted tomorrow. If it dries, I could probably have it back together and have this finished, literally. You know, you just saw me unsolder the pickups in real time. It's the same thing when you solder them back in. It's basically just as fast. So, uh, you know, it's just repetition. You do that, you know, you do enough of it, and eventually you'll start to get good at it. Uh, I'm no expert, but I've done it enough. I've burned my fingers and all that, so I guess that that like classifies you as a pro after you get a few solder burns and uh, a few drips of hot solder on the back of your hand, that kind of thing. It's no fun, so you learn real quick what to do and what not to do. Anyway, guys, this is going to be a fun one. Uh... I think it's going to look cool when I get done. I already can visualize it, so we'll see what it looks like. It should be uh, a good little guitar. Okay, so this is uh, part two, or part one of the uh, the actual build, I should say. Demolition. you got to tear stuff apart and make a mess before you make it look good. That's how it works. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Be good.